Are you boys going to run? Yes. Are you going to run? <laughs> Find the games, pay, and then keep going. Oh, so you got the longest legs, so you're going to be the quickest. <laughs> well, I can see over the you top. Look at the reach, yeah. When in doubt, when in doubt, take everything. Let's go. Don't film. How are we, guys? Good, how are you? Straight to the hats. How much you got on the, the on the hats? Uh, I can do like a bundle, but they're like five pieces or ten. How much are these? Uh, fifty. Is that for sale? Yeah. How much? Uh, fifty. Fifty. What size is it? So I've got triple X now. Yeah. I'll leave you with that. Okay. All good. I'm not sure I can do it. I've got some games. Um, um, three controllers. What games you got? Nothing too great. No. Um, How much do they want? 70 for that. Try and get it 50. Um, well, I'd get a price off it for that first yeah. of all. There's another way. There's a bunch of ways. Never seen so many. Don't know if they work or not. Jumper. Five, yep. About that. Never been worn. It's always good. Yeah. Have you got a spare back? Yeah. What'd you get? Honeyness. Hey, they're good. Very <laughs> hot. Are they brats? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Do that. How much on the hats? What if I bought a few of you? Five each on the Mitchell and the other ones. Yep. And the other ones. Okay. It's complete though. Oh, you can, you can explain. I might, might start a pile. Jane McGrath, that would be good. Let's take that one. Look at that. Put that in there. <laughs> Correct. To the top. Yeah, that's cool. All right, I've got a stack. Okay, that's fine. Really, cheapest would be 55. Did you do 50? No. 55? Yeah, 55. All right, <laughs> let's do it. Hey, right, Maddie, I've got a buyer for your brats already. <laughs> oh, yeah, do you want to yeah, see? Yeah, yeah. Show me which ones I'll have a look because I've been and watching the video. Oh, my God, I saw. Mm, yeah, no. Okay. No, not that I'm aware of. much on the pants? 50. Would you do 30 on the pants? Probably I do 45. 45. I might see how they go today and pop back a bit later, I reckon. The dragon jeans are good, but you're probably going to get about 65 for them. So 50, there was just no wiggle room, unfortunately. But um, we'll keep moving on. I reckon the IT crowd could be good. Four seasons. One to four is 22 plus 13 post, $30, 28 free post. Yeah, I'm going to do that. 27 Five bucks. All right, so that's a win. And then little Britain. 
as well. I thought they'd be better because they got discontinued. Seasons two and three. This would be good. No. No? No, I'm tricky as it is. Well, I think it's like eighteen dollars. You're kidding. What about Moonlight, the complete series? All right. Well, how much have we got here, first of all? We've got two, four, eight, and 13. Would you do 10 for those? No. Let's do 13. How much on the books? I wanted 10 for those, they do. Yeah, they are in good condition too, aren't they? Yeah, no, they're, they're brand spankings. Yeah. She was into all this um, weird stuff. <laughs> spent so much money on everything. Yeah. And she did not even read them. She's actually dyslexic, so she couldn't even read them. Just had it as a part of a collection. Yeah. Oh, that was 10, was it? Yeah, that's uh, brilliant. She wanted 15. Well, I walked past him and asked him how much. Yeah. And he said 15, and he came past two minutes later and said 10. That's awesome. I thought that was a good deal. Because they're not, they're not bad, are they? You guys have done well, eh? We're home. We are home and we have looked through some of these items. I've comped some of these items up and there was one in here that I was absolutely blown away by. Had no idea it was worth this much money. So we'll get to that in a second, but I wanted to take you through everything else. So I'll spin the camera around. Starting off with the DVDs, we got all of this off one person. So Little Britain, you get about 15 bucks a piece for those. So there's about 30 bucks in there. And um, this one was worth, I think about $25, $20, something like that. So for four bucks, I thought, why not? I just saw complete series. So that's why I went ahead with the purchase. Um, for five bucks, we've got four of the IT crowd. I haven't actually sold this one before. So it'd be interesting to see how that one goes. Um, this one as well, anything Bratz, I'm always gonna pick up. We've got two of the dolls and these are the originals from 2001 as well. So there it is there. Now I'll put some comps up here for you. Bratz dolls are actually some crazy money if you can get the right ones. I don't know if I've got any good ones here with these two. I probably don't. But um, still, when I saw Bratz, I got them for a couple of bucks. You couldn't go wrong with those. Um, we did really well with the hats, guys. They're all pretty much genuine hats, uh, except for this Deus hat. And I could tell based on what's on the inside there, there was no tags. Um, just looked like a cheap sort of Chinese make. Um, but this one here is an example, the same brand. Um, this one was brand new and it had the Deus tag in the middle. So you've always got to make sure you're looking for that sort of stuff. But um, that one brand new should sell for about 35. This one, to be honest, I don't even know if I'll list it up. Um, you can get about 30 bucks for the Corona Extra hat, so I'm picking that one up. We've got a Houston Astros New Era hat there. We've got a New York Knicks, Mitchell and Ness, and we've got a San Jose Sharks as well, Mitchell and Ness. So the hats have done really, really well. Took a bit of a stab on the VHS, and uh, we've got a King Kong, Gates of Hell, Ghoulies number two, and then the Blood Beast Terror. This Ghoulies one's probably the best of the bunch. I'm thinking maybe 25 bucks for that one there, so that was okay. Um, we'll see how the rest of them go as well. Anything Monsters High, guys, I'm trying to pick this up. So that was really good. Um, should get about 25 bucks for that. Paid a few dollars off the girls um, that I bought from that stall. Um, this one as well, the Nike Metcons, guys. Unreal pair of shoes. These are the Metcon 2s. Uh, should be able to get about $70 for those there. Uh, Sydney 2000, I'm picking up anything Sydney 2000 related. This one's got a 1996 uh, date on it. Um, had a look and I should be able to get about 20 bucks for that one there. So that wasn't too bad. Now, on the clothing. We've got a number of different clothing items here to take you through. This is a McGrath Foundation. Um, there it is there, Jane McGrath, McGrath Foundation. Um, it's a size two, uh, two extra small. Um, it's a V8 Supercars um, um, racing jacket. So this is really cool. And I think I should be able to get about 50 bucks for it. I'm always picking up the racing merchandise when I see it. Uh, we've got a Nike Golf polo shirt here as well, size large. They turn into about $30, super fast. Um, Billabong Pro, um, I'm always looking for sort of vintage looking Billabong. Um, these sell really well. So I should be able to get some good money. I'm thinking maybe 30 bucks for that one there. This one here, this was actually a single stitch Felix t-shirt. So I was really happy for anyone out there that doesn't know what single stitch is. It's literally just got a single stitch. So I've gone ahead and picked that one up. Didn't have a date on it here, but I just like the fact that it looked like an old vintage print. Um, it's got the top heavy made in Australia tag as well, which tells me that it is vintage. So really cool little find there. Again, I only paid a few dollars for it. But this one here, this is the absolute winner of the day, guys. 
Bunnings merchandise sells, but you would not believe how much this actually goes on to sell for. It's pretty much in light new condition, and I've seen ones that are like new sell for $300. I'm, I'm kidding you not, 300 bucks. This one here without tags, I should be able to get about $250 for it. Have a look at the comps. Look at the comps that I'm putting here for you. It's got the, um, the Bunnings trade on the back. So there it is right there. I'm absolutely blown away by this. To think that I was able to pick it up for just $5, uh, we've been able to turn it into some big, big money, 250 bucks on the Bunnings trade hoodie. And then the last one that I got for you here is the Reebok Gold Coast Suns. This is the original sponsorship, official team gear. That's a good tag to be looking for when you're buying sporting merchandise in AFL, uh, a size large there. Reebok was the first ever sponsor of the Gold Coast Suns. Um, so that's why that one there is the reason I bought that for $5. So guys, the Bunnings hoodie was just insane. And a few other goodies as well to round out. Not too bad of a day. And guys, if I can let you in on a little bit of a secret, I truly had no anticipation that it was gonna be worth $250 to $300 this jumper. I honestly bought it for five bucks thinking I'd be able to turn it into 40 bucks. And then just downstairs, I just had a look at the comps and I realized that it was worth a hell of a lot more money. So make sure you are looking for Bunnings merchandise, guys. And if you could be finding these hoodies in light new condition like this one here, size large, my goodness, guys, there are some serious, serious dollars to be made. And that's why you go out to the flea. It's not always to buy a massive haul. We haven't done a massive haul today, but a five into 300 sort of a scenario, my best ever flea market find, it makes it all worth it just for that one single item. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Remember to smash the like button. Here's last week's flea market run for you guys to go and check out. We'll see you soon.